Hello, my name is Francis Tang from IDA TV. Tonight we are here at the Dark Carnival. This is Jonea from Dungeon Master. So where did the idea for this Dark Carnival come from? Was it born out of a Dungeon Master show or? Well, I'm going to be honest, we're a little weird. And as such, the idea of deviating from our standard kind of medieval world was really a great idea to us. So we came together and we really thought, hmm, what can we do that would collectively freak people out and have them having a great time? So the dark, twisted kind of idea of a carnival where the performers are interacting with you and talking to you and basically pulling you into the story is classic, classic Knights of Motley, classic DM. So we really wanted to come up with that kind of a flow. And Brad, who is one of our producers, is wonderful at setting a stage, as you can see. We really wanted you to feel immersed in an environment that wasn't too alien and that would bring in new people. Professor Gideon Black is the Sideshow Carnival Barker here at the Dark Carnival of Wonders and Mysteries. Would you like more? I can talk more. <laughs> I started this carnival a long time ago. It wasn't very hard, of course, because there are a number of individuals that wander around here looking for dark and mysterious places to hide. Many of them are here now. We have Bert and Barry McGillicuddy, who are our conjoined twins. Joined by the hip at Bert, you'll find them here on the Dark Carnival, one night only. We have the beautiful Isabella, the bearded lady. We have Timmy, the dog face boy, all right here underneath the midway for one night only. obviously very passionate about what you're doing. What kind of advice could you give our viewers who say are a little hesitant to follow their passions that might be in the arts? Never, never be afraid to just be yourself and go out there. If you really have a passion for theater, there's a place in this city, there's a place for you. Whether it's with us, and there's always a space for someone with us, or whether it's poetry, there, there's so many things to look for. My true advice is to look inside yourself and realize that it's not about what Hollywood typically thinks of as an actor or a producer or a writer. It's what you are and what you can bring to others. Always come from the inside out and success is what you have. 